Uh, hello, my name is Christos Prukakis. I'm a neurologist in London, and I'm delighted to be introducing our work on uh, somatic copy number gains of alpha-synuclein in Parkinson's disease and the multiple system atrophy brain, so in synucleinopathies. So this work, of course, is about genetics, but not genetics in the conventional sense where an inherited mutation or risk allele uh, may affect uh, the risk of a disease. This is about the possibility of somatic mutations, so mutations occurring post-zygotically in uh, development or perhaps in aging, which would lead to mosaicism, so the presence of cells in an organism with different DNA in different uh, uh, cells or parts of the body. Now, any type of somatic mutation could occur and give mosaicism for that particular type of mutation. Here we're focusing on copy number variants, so situations where a gene or a part of the genome has an extra copy or, or a missing copy. Uh, and mosaicism for CNVs and in general is very uh, recently become uh, documented in, in several studies of, of control brain and of uh, disease brain as well. So the hypothesis here is that if we take genes which are known to be involved in Parkinson's because they can lead to the rare inherited forms of the disease, it is possible that the sporadic cases could have somatic mutations in the same genes which would give you a sporadic form of Parkinson's disease and we, we've used some uh, uh, brains with uh, cases with MSA because of the, uh, the fact that of course this is also a synucleinopathy. So we need uh, material from brains for this and the London Brain Banks have very kindly helped us out. We tried hoping that we could by using microarrays and quantitative digital PCR see uh, some changes to see if there was high level copy number mosaicism but that was negative so we had to move on to a more in-depth study using uh, fish for recent in situ hybridization so that we could look for really low level uh, changes at each uh, cell separately for our gene of interest. So this is how we do it. We have designed a, a probe that is specifically designed to cover part of the synuclein gene without any background. There's a reference probe of a different color so we can normalize our findings. Uh, and we tested our probe on a fibroblast cell line that ha should have three copies of synuclein on one chromosome. So here they are with the arrows. And also in a brain provided kindly by Bristol Brain Bank where you can see that this was a known duplication case. So you can see there's two copies of the gene on one chromosome. So we've then moved on to substantia nigra, uh, thin sections, where we can distinguish the dopaminergic neurons because of the granules in the cytoplasm, the dark brown ones on this uh, slide, which is the neuromelanin. And what we can see is both cell types, the neuromelanin-positive dopaminergic neurons and other cells, can have gains of alpha-synuclein, these extra red dots you're seeing here. Uh, we can say there's at least one gain in these cells. Whether there's more copies or not is hard to tell. And of course, to make sure that this isn't just an artifact of the um, colors, we can do the same thing with a different color. And we can see that we get the opposite image if the nucleon is now green. And here you can see the arrow pointing to, to a cell which looks like it has one extra signal. It's very large, so this could be many copies, but it's hard to give a precise estimate other than that there is a gain of some sort. So. This can occur in PD, in MSA, and also in controls, but it is more common in the PD nigras, looking at them uh, in their entirety, or also the level in each nigra is higher in PD than in controls, although it's quite low overall. And the gains actually were highest in dimension neurons in a couple of our MSA cases, but we only did five, so we need to work more on this, of course. And we were able to find some possible clinical correlates. So. SNCA gain level correlated negatively with onset age and presence of SNCA gains correlated negatively with tremor at onset and possibly with asymmetry which was very interesting. So in summary we have found what we hypothesized that there are low level alpha synuclein uh, copy number gains in the alpha synuclein gene in surviving neurons by definition we could don't know what might have happened to neurons that died but we propose that somatic alpha-nucleon gains may be a risk factor or they may affect the phenotype for PD or synucleinopathies. Uh, of course, they could be a result of the process, so this is all we can say for now, and we're looking further to taking this much uh, further in the future. Thank you very much.